Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for watching. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're going to continue on with our reporting series here. Um, and in fact, we're going to create a home page, kind of a home base for us. I'm going to click on Insert Worksheet, which is Shift F11. And so we've got a new worksheet here. Let's rename it Home. Something like that. And anyway, I'm just going to create a big picture right here that says, you know, click here. And then we'll create a macro that opens up our user form from that home sheet. So let's go to Microsoft Word for just a second, or you can use Microsoft Paint for all I care. I just like the word art. So we'll call, um, say, click here to open. And this is not going to be the most elegant, beautiful picture, but uh, I'm just going to highlight that. And we will go to our um, insert word art. We'll just pick out something kind of cool here. Let's see. We need to definitely make that larger. Click here to open. Okay, that's pretty big. Um, okay, I like that. That's good enough. So remember, I'm using Gadwin Print Screen, a free program. If I hit Print Screen, I can custom select the area that I want to copy and hit Enter. And hit Enter again. Picture's been captured. Going back to Excel now. I'm just going to paste that picture using Control-V. And uh, that's fine. We could format this using Excel's built-in, 2010's built-in um, picture of things here. Just, uh, this is going to be, this is not going to be the prettiest thing, like I said, but, I mean, uh, anything like that. Just, uh, here, I'm being picky. Wasting your time, aren't I? All right. Let's just click on that one. is fine for now, for a demonstration. So this picture, we're going to say click here to open. So, um, let's go to the developer tab, which you should have by now. If not, review my basic series. Click on the Design Mode button. And now we can double click on this picture and uh, go into the properties of it. Well, that didn't work. How about we assign macro? Excuse me. Click on Assign Macro. And you can also go to Size and Properties and uh, do a few, uh, few base properties of that. Okay, so uh, there we go. If we click on the properties button there, for some reason it wasn't working from the other thing. Um, you can change if it's whether it's locked or not the name. Uh, it looks like we're still in the worksheet. Okay, well forget that. Let's assign a macro. Uh, let's build a macro first. Alt F11. It's just going to be a simple macro that says open that user form. So sub, and we'll call this one uh, open form, open report form. And when open report form, it, this macro is run, all we want it to do is, what was that? What was that thing called? Hide form. For some reason we called it hide form, but anyway. So hide form dot show. That's all we want this macro to do. So we're going to copy that little line of code into, uh, so we can, we click here, right click, and assign a macro. Well, which one do we want to assign? Why, the one we just made called Open Report Form. And click OK. So now when we take it out of design mode, we'll be able to click this, and you'll see that this form has shown up here. Yeah, you still can't click on the outside, but in the next video we'll show you how to resolve that. So, um, we can run the report right now. Let's see what happens. Wow, that was pretty cool, except we didn't see anything. So, click over here um, to the employee report, and it ran the report, but didn't select it. So, in the next few videos of the series, we're going to go over how to when we run a report uh, to take us to that page, whether or not it's hidden or not. So, so we've run it, it hides the form, and clicking here will open it. So that's uh, step one. Thanks for watching.